Alright, here's the view from inside the blind. I'd say we got us a killing spot. We're heading out to put the ground blind up here in Keith's place. I'm gonna try to kill some turkeys with our bow this year. Time to put in some work. Well, we were in here turkey scouting, but when you come across something like this, you can't help but take notice. Big old row. Almost up to my waist. Should be the perfect place to find a shed. Oh, yeah. It opens the 21st. What's today? Eight. We're two weeks away from Georgia turkey season opening. We're going to come out here today and we're doing some, I guess you call it last minute scouting, but this is the food plot that me and his uncle Bo, well, most of them two, uh, came in here uh, last fall. Yeah. They cleared it out pretty good. And right over here, I don't know if you can see, but this little hillside right here is a little bit of a bowl. There's some turkey scratching right there, and then there's some turkey scratching right over here on this side. So we're gonna set the ground blind up right here. It's a uh, Bardet. Bar Barnet? Bar Barnet or something like that. Uh, we'll show you the picture of it. Picked it up at the NWTF show, show special price, which was great, and they shipped it for free. Oh, they shipped it to you? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that, I thought you brought it home. Heck yeah, because it was normally. It was like over 300 bucks. And you picked it up for? I think it's right around 170. Shipped to your house? Shipped to the house. And it's huge. Oh yeah. We're gonna get it set up right now. Uh, get everything trimmed up where we can shoot and get ready to kill a turkey. Oh yeah. Baronet, we'll go with that. She could pack that sucker in and it's got back straps on it. First time she's come out of the box today, huh? That's right. Let's see how easy it is to set up. Well, that took all of five seconds. Yeah, all I had to do was pull the top and then pull the sides and bam, she's up. Here's the view from inside the blind. I'd say we got us a killing spot. And then if you wanted, of course. Yeah, it's got little windows we can shoot out real fast. I like how it flares out on the side, kind of keep the rainwater from going in. It's even got a little strap where you can brush it in a little bit. Oh yeah, she's brushed in. She's ready to go. All right, we have got this area covered. Got a Browning camera, a uh, Primo's camera, and he's putting up the last one, the Covert camera. He's got everything but a Moultrie. Kind of hurts my feelings, Keith. I got two of them, they're just out of different areas. <laughs> Two weeks and hopefully you'll see us in that ground blind, With slinging some arrows, slinging some lead, something to kill a turkey. For now, what are we doing? Oh, I got this Accutouch, XL Accutouch one pin. Uh, I'm gonna try to get her sighted in. This is actually a whole new setup for me. I bought the bow used, but switch it to a one pin. What else did you switch to? A Hoyt, Hoyt. I sold a Vertex and bought a Hoyt. Got him so, on the Hoyt train. Uh, yeah, we're here at the house and at the range. On the range, and we're gonna try to get his bow sighted in, so. <clears throat> That's all for now. We're gonna see what we can do with this thing, how many arrows we can not lose. That's right. I broke one sighting my one pin in. And I've got one in a tree down here yeah. from about two years from ago. from a couple so. years ago, they still got an arrow out there, so. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get to sighting this thing in. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you check us out on all social media, Black Apparel, and so check out the site. You can subscribe to us right here in front of Keith's face. Click on that button. Uh, you can click up here for the, the merch. Yes, there's t-shirts and stuff. So appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch y'all later. See ya.